Hi everyone, Sahil Bora here from C++BetterExplained.com and in this video today we're going to be talking about implementing the, the famous casino game Blackjack and C++. But before we get into the nitty gritty of implementing Blackjack and C++, I just wanted to give, it, give a shout out to you guys for thank you for subscribing to the C++ Better Explained YouTube channel and lately there's been the influx of new subscribers that have been coming in almost every day which has been uh, really awesome because I haven't been posting a lot of content in the last few months because I've been busy with my full-time job and, and teaching my students who, are in, who have purchased my C++ Better Explained online course and I'm also busy in the process, I'm in the process of actually uh, working on, 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 on another business where I'm currently working on developing my own wearable de device product which is currently in development and we are trying to get that out into the market by the, at least by, at least get a working prototype by at least the end of the year or early, early to mid next year hopefully if, if things go well. So let's get into a visual diagram of how we can implement uh, Blackjack and C++ first before we start delving into the code implementation uh, in C++. But also before we get into that as well, if you were interested in mastering the foundations of learning C++, please click on the link down below to learn about our free masterclass of how that you can easily master and learn the C++ programming language in 60 days or less, even with a full-time workload or if you're busy studying full time. The link is just down below, so just click on that link below and you can sign up for that, for, uh, for that, for that free video training today. So let's get into the visual diagram of implementing Blackjack and C++. So here we have the overall uh, block diagram of like the hierarchy of implementing uh, the, the Blackjack game in C++. So, to break down the, the game of blackjack, what, what I've done is that I've got a block diagram breaking down the different compartments of the game. So we have the, the card, the deck, the hand, the generic player class that works with the hand, the house, the player, and the game. And each of these individual components are broken down into, into different classes that we can use. To, that we can use together in the main.cpp file because if we try to implement everything in the main.cpp file we're not taking advantage of of using the of using the features inside the C++ programming language so that's why it's been it's beneficial to break down the implementation of blackjack using classes with the C++ programming language as I've outlined in this di in this diagram here so we are going to go into into looking at looking at the implementation of each of these different classes and how they all work together to create to, to help us implement uh, Blackjack and C++. Okay, so to start off with, let's let's look at the card the card class uh, implement the header file and the implementation file. So this, we're looking at the card.h file, and we've got uh, we've got the included files that we need. So we've got you know the standard C++ uh, libraries that we need. So IO stream, string, vector, and algorithm, and C time. So this is our card class that we've implemented here, and we're using a, a an anu, a, an enum declaration here for for the card class. Now with with enums, when we when we have and when we have elements inside the the, the enum, each of these uh, each of these di different variables in the enum represents a number. So ace is one, two is two, three is three, and four is four, and it's pretty it's pretty, it's pretty self explanatory. So that's so that's our implementation of the card card dot h header file. And then we've got a function here where we return the value of the card and then it flips the card if it, if it faces up and then it becomes face down, vice versa. So that's done with a function here. And then we've got some variables which are private here. So if we go to our, so if we go to our card um, implementation file, we've got our constructor set up uh, for the card. Uh, we've got a function here so when we, when we, get, a, when we get a value for the card, 
and then we've got comments here explaining what's happening. So if a card is face down, its value is zero, and then the, uh, the value the value is no, the value is number showing on the card, and then it's we've got it, we've got an if statement here is the value is ten for face cards. So what we're setting it up as, and then we've got our implementation here for when we're for, so we've got our function implementation when we flip the card uh, here. Now let's have a look at the at the deck at the deck header file. So we've got we've got another class uh, declaration here. So we've got our we've got our constructor here. Uh, more functions here. So we're creating a standard deck of fifty two cards because there's fifty two cards inside a deck. And then we we we've got a function here where we can where we can shuffle the card and only deal with one card to a hand and you know give additional cards to a generic player. And then if we go to our implementation file, we've we've got our uh, we've got our constructor here, deconstructor, um, our function to populate the cards. So we're using a for loop here to to create a standard deck, and to load in uh, you know to, to load in uh, like how many um, clubs and spades and all that are going to be inside inside a deck, and then we can shuffle the cards, and then the deck. And then this this will allow us to uh, allow the dealer to deal deal the cards during the game, and add in additional cards uh, during the game as well. So this is the advantage of using classes where we can break down each ind ind individual components of uh, the game using classes, using using header, using header files and CPP files. Now we have uh, the game um, header file, same thing as well. We've got you know the constructor, the deconstructor, and all that. Uh, you know all of the all of this all of this um, all of this code creative implementation I've provided uh, on the website, which is also in the in the in the link down below of the video. So um, I'm not going to go through all all the all the all the um, all the all the different files there are because otherwise it just would just be harping on and on. Uh, for, for for this video, so let's actually go into. We've got, yeah. So it's it's pretty it's pretty standard of 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 what implementation what we've implemented implemented uh, f for the game. But let's go into the main.cpp file because I feel like this is the, this is going to be the most important most important explanation um, of the game of, of the of the implementation. Sorry, so. As we've got, it, as I was, as I was saying at the start of, start of the video, you know, when I was showing you when I was showing you the block diagram, see how we've got here. We've got so so in our in our includes, we've got the card, the deck, the game, and the generic player class, the hand, the house, and the player. All those different header files. So we're we're now including all those header files that we've created earlier in our main.cpp file. To allow us to, to bring to, to to allow us to bring all the different pieces of the game together into all in, all into one here, and then we've got our int main function because without our int main function, uh, the the program won't won't compile at all because every C, every every single uh, C plus plus uh, program in the world needs an int main function for it to start. So then we have our welcome to blackjack uh, splash uh, uh, welcome uh, welcome to displayed, and then it's going to ask um, how many players there are. So there can be between at least one to seven players. You can play you can play with somebody else if if, you, if you've got someone with you next to you, and then the player is going to be able to enter in their name, and then this is where the, this is where, this is where the main thing begins. So this is where the game loops the the game loop starts. And we use our uh, so we we have our while loop here, and then we have uh, so we're calling a function here inside inside the game, inside the game dot h file, which is the play, uh, which is the play function here, and it do, it does it deals the initial two cards to everyone, and then it hides the, the hides the house's first cards, and then it displays everybody's hands. And then it deals additional cards to the players. So this is this is a, this is done in the game .cpp file. Uh, this is function is is the play function. So this is our implementation here, and this has been called inside uh, inside this 
inside this this uh, inside this class uh, in this class object here that we have a game that's been called. Uh, so we are calling a function here. So if I so if I just if I just quickly just get rid of that and and type in play, that's referencing the function the function inside the game dot cpp file that we have declared. And then we have more setup of, of then we have more setup of the, of the ranking and, and the suits um, of the cards and all that. And yeah, just some more and just some more setup of like you know of the cards beginning and ending of of the game. So let's actually compile compile the game and see how we go. So it begins. It it, it compiles successfully. And it, it's asking how many players do we want? Uh, let's say we have we only have myself, and I'll enter in my name, Sahil, and then it looks like I've already won the first game. So of course I'm not going to hit. Of course I'm not going to hit. Uh, uh, hit of course I'm not going to hit yes. I'm going to hit no. And then I've uh, then turns out I've won the game, uh, and then it'll, it'll ask whether I want to play again. Let's play again. All right. So I'm currently on seventeen. Uh, the house is on AC. I don't know what that is off the top of my head. Um, so do I want to hit? Uh, I'll say no. Uh, and then I'll, it's asking me whether I want to play again. Turns out maybe it says that I want to push. Let's play again. All right, I'm on 16. All right, do I want to play? Do I want to hit? All right, I'll play. And then, yeah, I've lost because um, I, because I, because my card total was twenty three, and the house got twenty one. So, if so, now it's asking me whether I want to play. I want to play again. No, I'm bankrupt. Thanks, because because the house busted me. And then uh, the game finishes, and that's it. So that is pretty much it, a, a high level overview of implementing blackjack with C plus plus. I've shown some implementations of the of of the de, of the of the class declarate of the of, of the class declarations and the implementations for some of the classes uh, for this implementation of Blackjack and C plus plus, but the full code solution is actually is actually on my website, so you can you can visit it uh, by just clicking on the link down below, and you'll be able to see the full code solution for the implementation of Blackjack. And C++ because if I show you because if I show you uh, line by line the, the video is just going to get too long and you, you'll just get bored so um, so feel free to check out the, the full source code uh, the full source code on the on the website uh, with the link down below and try and, and try and uh, and try and uh, and have a look at the code and see how, how it's all put together and try and modify it yourself so because but because by modifying the code and all that uh, it will help you understand um, how it's all put together. So that's all I wanted to say in this video today. And thank you so much for watching. And if this video has helped you out a lot, please uh, click on the red button down below to subscribe. And don't forget to, to smash up to smash that thumbs up button uh, down below. So thanks again.